Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kafa. I'm glad you could be here. This is going to be a reading for Capricorn, and I'm excited because basically, I hope you like the new intro. If I did it correctly, you know. And I like to say welcome if you are new here. If you are returning, you know what's good. You know how we do. So, um, basically, we're gonna get right into it. I don't have many messages for Capricorn. But I do have the attributes. And these two cards came out at first. So before I even get started, understand that the stubbornness of your manifestations will and have been always keeping you protected. And you feel certain about this. But those feelings stop you from actually manifesting the newer things. So it's like you're working with old manifestations. So first and foremost, I apologize for my voice during this reading. If it if it seems like it was was no change, that's good. But um I was or I am coming down with a little bit of something. So I was drinking the teas and all that other stuff. But you know, I had a good message prepared. I had the good energy prepared to do it yesterday and it didn't turn out the way that I wanted to. But today I wasn't even thinking about it. And then I lined up to be ready for it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. So without further ado, the Zenfinity board is an elementary energetic grid that flows on the 21 part circuit, housing all aspects of the mind in a still life fashion. So what does that mean? Basically, imagine your life on pause and this is the menu. And in this menu, you get to see everything that's happening in your mind. Right. So. We use the cards to figure this out. And I would like this to be known as the masculine approach to Tarot. Because you can understand that the spirit takes over. But how? what do we consciously get out of it? And we can piece all of it together using this method, right? So eventually this is going to be in the hands of all readers. All of you. So if you think that you're stealing from me, you're not. You're a part of the plan. But I would be grateful if you said something about where you got the information from. So yeah, always understand that you're a part of the plan. I am here to inspire and we are at war. So it doesn't matter where you get your ammo from. It doesn't matter where you get your weapons from. Use it to the fullest because you have it now, right? So being prepared for what's coming for you is coming up to play right now. So the way that I like to do the readings for the signs goes as follows. It's a Tesla VFE infinity read. So what does that mean? Naturally, Tesla has vibration, frequency, and energy. Now I added two more pieces to it, and that's sound and stream. So vibration, frequency, energy, sound, and stream. So it's five parts to this reading. It has some of the same elements as the way I do it for the general, but I think setting it up this way for the signs give it that sort of like a distinction you know it gives a little extra for the channel so i appreciate it if you like it subscribe to the channel um like the video and of course share it with your favorite reader and in your community so let's get this started so starting off with vibration give me a few seconds basically using these five uh platonic solids they all have numbers on them at the minimum, you can guess five, and at the maximum, you can guess 50, because these sides equal up to 50, right? So I want you to take a time to just think about what number it could be, and if this number aligns with you, you know, take it how it resonates. <clears throat> so, for fire, we have the number two, for air, we have also the number two. For ether, we have the number one. For water, we have the number 16, right? 
and for earth we have the number five so let me do this in order so you understand where it came from so i was guided to just throw them on the board like that i just felt like it was necessary <laughs> i don't know what number i said before but let's get this correct so it's one two two five eighteen so that's 28 so if you guess 28 this reading is specifically for you you should pay attention to everything i'm about to say if you're close to it you know scale it down i like to say that <laughs> but if these numbers mean something for you um leave a comment in the description i can get down to the bottom of it but basically 28 for me is the number for the moon so if we see moon cards come out or moon energy or the moon has been significant for you this is your reading specifically or that's a message for you so starting off with the first part of the reading we have vibration and it goes as follows starting off with i know which is the four of swords and it's on suit right so let's get this now this is your knowing all of these black cards are perspectives in your mind and they don't overlap and they encompass everything that you can possibly think of so when i say your i know all of your knowledge is here and is reflected by the four of swords so this is rest restoration and contemplation this is what you're doing with your knowledge at this current moment what's happening with it you are looking over the details you have the details and that's important you have the experience necessary to move forward it only requires you to sit still for a moment so if God has been guiding you to sit still. A lot of your plans have been just being burned up. Like it seems like at the last minute, last second, you just sitting there bored on your phone, doom scrolling, right? Okay. Now, the bad part about doom scrolling is that's time and time is money, right? But think of mana, manifestation. Mana is money. It's still a flow of something happening, right? So in between this time that you were offered an opportunity to do the thing that you were praying about, you just saw it as something that was taken away from you. See it from a different perspective as now you have this secret time that nobody's looking for you. Nobody has anything that they need from you. So you just have this secret time to yourself with you and God. Or you in spirit, all of you, you know, in totality to just figure out what you're here for, that kind of thing. So, yeah, this element is on suit. So let's move on to IB. That's that's zero, right? And this is the at. That's the energy that it starts with. This is the cancer card, chariot card, right? Water energy in the place of what crowns the reading. So this is the energy that crowns the reading. The chariot goes. Well, the chariot talks about the energy it takes from spirit to get to, to your desires, basically. Or the energy requirements from spirit, the, ne the necessities of spirit, you know, in union with spirit to get your desires here. That's what this energy is talking about. And this is what crowns the reading. So let's get this. So this is direction, control, and willpower. This is your soul energy. Who are you going to be at the beginning and the end of every day? right so no one will be able to stop you when you start moving and the fact that you're still right now or god keeps leaving you in this still moment leaves everybody anxious because they do not know where you're gonna go before they can at least say okay you're going north right i can look everywhere north and try to figure out how to stop you now you're sitting there because you understood that plan and you're going to say, okay, how can I lose them? Or it's not just you in the background saying, how can I lose them? This is your karma. This is your justice saying, this has to be done. They're going to be away from you. So how is it? How must it happen? And you can kind of fill in those details right now. And it's kind of annoying, but the process is there for a reason. Sometimes you can't keep the energies around you because new energies need to be there. That's it. It's so, sometimes it's so simple. It's the most frustrating is, is when it's simple. And that's how you know it's God talking. It's the most frustrating when it's simple. 
It's crazy. So moving on from there, we have I Want. And this is the Six of Swords. And this is offsuit. Fire and Earth are supposed to be on this side. Air and Water are supposed to be on this side. Right? So when it's on this side, you're being... It's just off, right? And it tells me when it's um, elementally on the energetic is, is not flowing, right? So the energy started to stop when it comes up to what you want. So let's see what you need. What you need is the two of cups and you're getting what you need. So that's good. And this is perfect because this is your area being the Capricorn, right? This is Saturn. Basically, this is the house of... Yeah, I had it right. The house of ambition. I didn't want to say it wrong. Basically, spiritual ambition for your dream. As I start to learn this board, I get directly kind of aligned with true attributes, right? And as I said that, I remember I have to do the attributes. So I do it after we finish this just to have it in order. <laughs> but God will remind me. But yeah, this is off suit. So let's get the Six of Swords. So you have a problem with transitioning, leaving behind, and moving on from things. Why? Because this is your fantasy. Who's to tell me that the things that I was fighting for are things that I should let go? That's hard to actually determine. What do you mean that that's not my dream and that's a, a falsehood? What do you mean? Like, I've been looking to go after this for a very long time. How could this not be the thing that I was actually looking for? And just questioning that in general leaves you with a lack of confidence. So that's one energy that's right there we can move on from. But I'm going to keep going to the two of cups. That's, that was what you want. This is what you need. Unity, partnership, and connection. Now, you have this connection with your spirit. But with your consciousness, your ego is coming at play. You are not in control of the ego to get where you want. And as I just mentioned before, it's because of the fantasy. Let me explain fantasy and, and dreams real quick. The spirit knows your dream, your true dream, your soul's dream, your soul's purpose. Your spirit knows it. It translates it, right? What your ego sees is senses. And you have nine of them on the conscious side, right? So using all your nine senses, it has nine part, every dream is nine part fantasy. So you can have nine different fantasies at the same time that would equal the dream that your soul wants. So that's very important for somebody. All right, so that was what you need to realize the dream. Next up is... I will, which is the Ten of Cups, and this is also off suit, right? So let's get the Ten of Cups. Inner happiness, fulfillment, and dreams coming true. Now, these are fantasies coming true that weren't actually meant for you. So it's a lackluster. It's like I'm finally getting what I wanted, but why does it feel like I lost? That's what this is, because... This is losing everything. This is losing everything, it seems. By what you thought you were going to win. It's crazy. Or it might be somebody else that was going to win against you and lost everything. You never know. But the same, well, at the time, your emotions are there. So this is why you can't do anything for yourself. So this is why the will, the will is off. So... If it's you doing it or if the person doing it to you, regardless, your energy is still stopping you from doing what you want. Next up, we have I desire, which is the fool, and this is air energy. So this is on suit. So again, your spirit is with you. You got you got that down pat. That's not the problem. Your spirit is not the problem at all. Why? Because it's because you understand the true dream. You understand your soul's mission so precisely that it's scary to even mention it to other people. Because why should you? It, it will only give an opportunity for the devil to push you away from the from the point that you exact you exactly need to be. It's like 
God says, stay at this point, go here, go towards here, don't move. Giving anything an opportunity to say anything different about this area is a falsehood, another falsehood. So God doesn't allow, allow it to happen. Henceforth, why you have to move away from some of these things and lose what it was that you were emotionally tied to. Clear, right? So let's get the fool. Innocence, new beginnings, wonder, and foolishness. Now, fool energy is always... Is one of my favorite cards, the fool energy, because who are you being a fool for? The fool energy comes directly from the crown. If you look at the tree of life, it's right there. Being a fool is actually abstaining from all thought of other people and doing your own thing, which is literally looking foolish to other people because they do not know where you're going. It looks like you're walking into darkness, which you are, but it's your own darkness that you have your light to shine with you within to figure out what's going on in there in the first place. At first it's scary, but when you get to used to it, you build a home in it. And when you build that home in it, that's when that's when things start to happen. Once you build that foundation within your spirit, this is when it gets tricky. Everything that was using you before, now you see it breaking your new house. Your new spiritual home. What is this happening? I thought I just made... I thought this was supposed to help me. Yes, it is. But you just you just built it up. It's made of straw. Right? You feel me? Straw, then sticks, then stone. Big bad wolf ain't got nothing to do with you after that. Right? So, understand where your house is and what's it, what it's made of. But, your spiritual energy is good. So, it's probably very strong. Or at least... It never runs out of energy. You always stay warm. It doesn't matter. Like. That kind of thing. You're always protected. So I went from there. Oh. <clears throat> so the next energies that are up. Is the frequency. And the frequency goes as follows. Well this is in the center. But I'm going to just leave it right here. Alright. So you have vibration, frequency, and energy. So this is frequency. Starting off or continuing from the fool, we have the Page of Cups. Now, this is offsuit. It should be air, right? And it's parallel. So, what does that mean? You cannot think because you're feeling too much. You have no space to do anything because your emotions that you had to let go, right? Or you notice you need to let go, has you... By like on a, at a chokehold, like your emotions have you on the chokehold. What can you do? So let's let's get into page of cups. Happy surprise, dreamer! Again, there's that fantasy coming up again, and sensitivity. Oh, yeah. Because it's not the true fantasy, it seems like everybody's able to destroy it, right? It, that's weird, right? Because it's not the true dream that your soul has, it's almost like the weapons that are formed against you can prosper against that. But it is leaving you in a state of confusion. But why be confused if understanding this right now, it was meant to be broken so you can build something better with that rubble, right? So, yeah, let's move on from there. We have the emperor and this is the fire energy and this is on suit right so let's get the emperor authority structure control and fatherhood right mm. you are so pattern like you have to get out of those patterns why because it's like somebody sees you do something or somebody curses you out and they know exactly how you're going to respond and react. Doesn't matter what you do. If I curse this person out, or if I do harm to this person, this person is going to walk this way, go to the store, go back over here, go to the movies, and come back home. So that means that the person that did that to you has free reign to do that again. Because you are pattern. It's what you do. But it's what you've always done to get over the energy. It's what you've always done to transmute. 
but you don't have to come back to the same place. This is figur- figuratively speaking, but you understand where this is coming from. Is you're getting back to the same type of energy in the same situations. Yeah. It only requires a per- perspective shift. Why? Because if you worked with yourself, the unknown one, the place where nobody knows where you're going, the path that's untaken, right? They can't follow you. They don't know what you're going to do because it's spiritual. It's not for them to know. And this is how you can get them off your tail. I don't know why off your tail. That's the second time that came up. Somebody's chasing you. Now. (laughs) The Empress is in the place of I feel. So let's get that. Beauty, fertility, nurturing, luxury, and creativity. Now this energy is off suit. Now, I mentioned the stubbornness of manifestation, right? Because you dream, you believe in your fantasy so much, nothing excites you other than those things out of the fantasy. So that has to change. And this is what this is about. That fantasy was so good. Why drop it? I thought you wanted me to dream, God. No. The fantasy is created from fear. Absence of fear, you get the true fantasy that matches the dream. So, we need to be rooted. And we're going to find out what the root is right now. And this is the hangman. All right. This energy is off suit. But I wanted to just show you something. In your home, in your frequency, you have four major arcanas. Just in your frequency alone. Your frequency is basically your home. So. That's why they're after you. Your home can produce so much. Your spiritual space. Has so many bountiful things. It's like your energy is so prevalent. Your energy is so magnetic. So useful. What you do is so important that it doesn't matter who comes in contact with you, they can use you. So you have to learn how to control it for yourself. And as I mentioned, the home is broken. So it's not that it's broken. You finally built the walls and they were being attacked immediately and broken immediately or at least damaged immediately. You're trying to figure out why I thought it was supposed to keep me safe. No. And now made you more aware. So the next part of the reading is energy, right? So I'm going to just move this over here real quick. <clears throat> so this is the part of the um, reading where you can understand who, what, when, where, and why this energy is coming from. In all aspects. This is what creates the kind of the setting right this is the energy of the situation so let's read it who this question answers who grounded the person or the thing that keeps you grounded or potentially can keep you grounded potentially is a very interesting word especially for you all right in the spirit you have all potential, right? Spiritual energy is all potential. When it gets to your id, your zodiac, basically your archetype, right? That's your spirit power. That's what powers that energy of the spirit and uses it, right? That goes to your desires, feelings, and space that you can occupy in your spiritual realm. So... Potential from a person, if you're waiting for that potential to come out, it's like waiting for a volcano to erupt and it's not even active yet. You're going to be sitting there for a long time. So, yeah. Potential, do not look, do not wait for potential. Potential is already there. If they stop in it, it's because 
they're feeling some kind of way about it or they do not have the spiritual space to make it happen for you. That's why it's being stopped. Because the potential starts right here, branches off in these two locations, right? <clears throat> They're not strong spiritually. It doesn't matter how many muscles you have. If you're not spiritually strong, that's all you got. All right, so that was who. What is transformation? The things that transform you. The things that you feel will bring you to the next level. So, yeah, let's get grounded really quickly. I forgot to read it. Have you been feeling spacey, confused, on, or unable to focus? Drawing this card means your energy is scattered or you are not fully connected to your body. Time to reconnect with your physical body and in its connection to the earth. Meditation, being outdoors, and movement, and root vegetables can all help you feel more grounded. So, this is grounded within your soul. And this was the soul energy with the chariot. God has something very powerful coming towards you for you to take with you on your journey but the journey is not to keep going it's to find that that forever place within your spirit that forever home that place that was meant for you God is setting that up and as above so below as within so without it will be translated into your life you work within to change the outside Change, trying to change the outside from the outside requires more energy requires more concentration and you're an inside worker being Capricorn you're an inside worker you specialize in that you have all of everything that you need to work on the inside from the inside out and that's why people when you get things like when you're blessed they be looking at you like, what? Oh, how did this even happen to you? You probably don't even know. All you did was nurture yourself. Or all you did was do what comes natural to you. Which is nurture yourself. Like, in whatever way it comes. And they can't even stop it. Why? How can they? Why could they? Why should they? I mean. So, transformation. The butterfly goes through many stages before it becomes the beautiful creature it is. Honor your process and allow your beauty to be seen by all. This is about your process. I don't really need to say much about this. Because transformation, you can understand it. Your process of evolution. Because the caterpillar goes through two stages before it can actually be itself. So the stage of the caterpillar, sorry, going to the cocoon, right? That's when you find your home, Right? Well, I don't know why I needed to say that, but for whoever that registered for, it registered for, because I don't really get that that much. Meditate on this when you want to call in more beauty and grace and acceptance during times of transition. It must be the grace. <laughs> the grace is like you do it effortlessly. And that's what people are after. They're after that effortless change that you can give them. Because this is the part of your manifestation. This is something that you use to grow. And if you give anybody anything, you're giving somebody your manifestation, right? Or if you physically give anything to anybody. Next up is protection. And this is when you are protected. You are safe in all matters of the body, mind, and spirit. Your highest guidance has you covered on all fronts. Do not delay in moving forward. If inquiring about a relationship, situation, or how to proceed, please take this as a sign that you are taken care of and harm to none will be had. Meditate on this when you feel like you need to strengthen your energy. Energy in concentration. Energy in figuring it out from all perspectives. And the harm to none, I always see that. I always recognize it. It's not about revenge. It's about moving forward. Going for revenge, you gotta go back to get them. You feel that? You gotta go backwards to go get them because they're moving. They stayed. You moved forward already. You've been okay with that. But if you can't let the revenge go, you still gotta go backwards to where they were before to go get them. To do anything. If you leave it to God, God is everywhere. 
God is going to make sure that karma comes back to them. So just keep moving forward. You'll, you'll get word of it. You'll get word of it. Where is shift? Miracles, divine intervention, the end of stagnation, and divine inspiration are here now. Drawing this card signifies an aha moment or a sudden change in any situation that was stuck or blocked. A welcome change or answer you have been seeking is here now. Meditate on this symbol when you are feeling stuck or unsure of which way to go or having a block of creativity. Now, this hangman energy right now is talking about that shift, the different perspective. This is a different perspective of where you believe that the faults are coming from. Where you believe you should go. So this is, you know, this is all well-rounded in what God is telling you to do. Close your eyes, turn around and look and see where you can go. It's right there. It's almost like just a little bit of trust. That mustard seed. That's all you need. Next up is why, and this is affluence. Now, I always say that why is the most important question in the world. Because if you ask God why, you can get a whole bunch of different answers. Who? You might not get an answer. You might not, you might get that, um, uh, you'll never know. <laughs> that kind of energy. They'll never know. When it's time to know who, you'll know who. But why? You'll get little, like, hints. You'll get more answers from why because anything could be why. But this has to do with affluence. Wealth in all forms is available to you now. You are rich on all accounts. Drawing this card invites you to feel the abundant flow of having all that you need on the material and spiritual planes. If you are inquiring about a situation or relationship, this certainly indicates that there is much to be experienced here. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. You are being provided for and rewarded at this time. <clears throat> it pointed out having all that you need. You have all that you need. And what you desire is true. But I don't know how this got so mistranslated when it came up to your fantasy. It's the people involved that's... It's almost like a visor, an advisor, right? You might as well put it that way. But I said a visor, and I meant to say a 3D glasses, right? So you already see in 3D, but somebody put these 2D shades over you, and now you can only see in 2D in the dimensions that they see, right? And that just turns you into supply and demand at the end of the day. If you see from their view, it just turns you into supply and demand. That's it. All right, before I clarify these energies, right, I wanted to get the attributes out really quickly. So I made a mistake. I was supposed to do this in the beginning of the reading, but there are no such thing as mistakes or coincidences. So I needed to go. I needed to do this now. So these are the attributes for Capricorn. You have the perspective of I need naturally that's over here. You have the house of ambition. Your fuel is understanding. Now, the fuel is for the house. The more you understand, the more you aspire. You can aspire. The more you can be ambitious. So that's that's what that is, right? Now, there's next is the focus and the power. Your focus is the world card or this line right here. Um, going from Malkut to your side Naturally on the tree of life right Then you have the devil card That spans through the veil Where you need to be grounded Right Your tool Your physical tool You know you are the tool The body that you have and own And operate and stuff like that Every weapon is, is an extension of you So everything is a tool that, that you use You know what I mean right So your tool Is Intuition, that's your tool. You use that better than most people. Now, this is how to understand the power in the tool. I mean, the focus in the power, right? So, in archery, you have the bow and the string that you pull, right? You hold the bow to aim, that's the focus. 
the string that you pull back the arrow on, that's the power. Farther you go with the power, where you're going with the focus. So the fool, I'm sorry, the world is the focus and the power is the devil. Now, the devil gets such a bad name, but why is it on a tree of life? It means something. That's not the name. That's what I know. We all know that death is transition, right? Without death, there's no birth. But what is it about the devil and the death card that's so, you know, similar? <clears throat> so this is the way to understand it. The devil is a liar, right? So it's about your beliefs. Your beliefs keep your ego in power. Should they be the wrong things to believe? So that's what becomes a devil in your life. The beliefs that you acquire and aren't able to get rid of. And it's crazy. Eventually, I'll, I'll explain that better, but that's the way it came to me just now. I had to let it flow. So let me put that back. The next up in the attributes are the, the senses and the clear senses. So it's the conscience, consenses, and clear senses, right? Your conscience is balance, right? That's the regular sense that you have. Your clear sense is sentience. It's the same as Aquarius right here because you are part of the third eye with Aquarius, right? Naturally, when you look at the third eye, you just think of one chakra. It's not, it's two. The third eye is two chakras. The third eye on the light side is the soul star and the third eye on the dark side is the earth star. We don't know much of anything, I swear to God. And every time I learn something new, is I just get annoyed and happy at the same time. It's like I finally found the truth, but I, I lived a lie for so long. If that resonates with you, I understand where you're coming from. Because, well, that fantasy was a shadow. That fantasy was a shadow with a little bit of light, you can barely see it. That's why you didn't want to you didn't even want to bring out your own light because that fantasy was so vague. It was so lackluster. Naturally, you are an earth energy and it's cardinal. So that's basically the perspective you hold of earth of the earth energy is where you're better. The perspective of earth, not how it's sediment not what it does, but the perspective of it. That's what makes you different than the other earth signs. So let me go over these attributes full on real quick. The perspective is I need, the house is ambition, the fuel is understanding, the focus is the world, the power is the devil, the tool is intuition, the, the senses, the sense is balance, the clear sense is sentience, the element naturally is air is cardinal and the chakra is the earth star so if you don't understand what the earth star is it's google's right there look it up it'll blow your mind because i found that by myself nobody told me that and i found it using this board so if that helps it helps <laughs> so without further ado just give me one moment to get these cards down basically Every card that's off suit, let me make sure I got all of them. All right. So every card that's off suit right here, the ones that are turned this way, is gonna get a clarification card. So give me a moment to get these cards down right about now. All right. So remember when I said that your power and your focus, your focus was the world and your power was the devil. I was so shocked that I was like, I, I was, I was kind of, I, I didn't even know what else to say. I, I was speechless, but actually thoughtless while I was getting this whole thing out. I said, no, that's crazy. That was crazy. This is the first reading I ever got both Power and the focus caught out. Crazy. Y'all something else. 
All right, so starting off with the first energy that was off, we have I Want, and this is the Page of Pentacles. Well, it started off with the Six of Swords, and it finished off with the Page of Pentacles. Let's get there. So this is Ambition, Desire, and Diligence. Now, I think I literally mentioned Diligence before. I think I literally mentioned it, so it came out right here. And this is your path, where you're trying to go. I hope y'all can excuse me. I'm determined to get this reading done. And I had a Ricola. And it's just about to be, you know, I'm not going to let the devil stop me. It's just not happening today. I done started this. I don't quit. So there you go. <clears throat> so the next energy that was off was I will. It started off with the Ten of Cups, very emotional. The emotions were keeping you bound, right? Then it went from there to the King of Swords. And this is Head of a Heart, Discipline, and Truth, right? So, Head of a Heart. This is clearly, I'm going to be more emo logical instead of emotional. Logical, I'm going to make judgments, and then I'm going to get some action going. Emotional, that's just going to swirl and swirl and swirl. You recognize that. When you recognize that, look what happened. I'm not. I'm choosing not to be emotional. But understand that it's going to block some blessings. So allow God to do the work in your life. It's like, don't get too good at being non-emotional. Because you won't pick up on the signals and the signs that God tells you to move. And this is apathy, contemplation, and disconnectedness. Naturally is what I said. I just had to get it before it. Then it went from there to the fool. Again, the fool was in your place of desire. So you're recognizing your foolish desires. That's great. You're going after what you truly desire. That was right there. And then it ended off with the world. I didn't even realize that it was a, a whole alley. Just now, you have an ally coming because that was just beautiful. How the fool came back out and the world ended up on top of that. Those are both major arcanas. And it's not like I didn't. I use the same deck. I use, an, I use a different deck, right? So let's get the world. <clears throat> Fulfillment, harmony, and completion. Now, if you are a fool for yourself, which is on this side, your spiritual self, that this is your spirit. Now, this is your self, selfness. If you are a fool for yourself, you'll have the world, the dream that you desire. You truly desire, not the one that you think you want. From there, we go over to the next energy that was off, and it's the heart chakra, Tiferet, right? It started off with the Page of Cups, and this is I Love. And it went from there to the Five of Wands, now, this is competition, conflict, and rivalry. Of course, instead of being emotional about the space and allow the emotions to take over, you're willing to fight for it, even though if your ego has to do it. And they don't want the ego to do it. But know when to back off. Because if you feel like, like parts of you have taken control, you are all of these parts. In your mind. In the one that you think is in control. The one that you call I. Right? This is your I. It has so many pieces. So when you, as the I, right? Feel like something takes over and has to do something. Now you know where that's coming from. It's just another part of you. And we're from there to justice. There's a lot of Major Arcana energy and all Major Arcana cards are love cards. I give you flowers, therefore it moves you. Love is movement. It has nothing to do with the grand scheme of what we think love is. Like, that's a title. That's a label. And that really means nothing. The movement behind it is the energy and action that we desire. So the justice is cause and effect, clarity and truth. You get clarity when you recognize the dream because, well, I put it this way. This is your heart space. 
this is a space you can occupy within your mind. Meaning like, I have a certain amount of time in a week that I can do a certain amount of things for myself. And I have contracts that say I need to work for money. So that's my heart space. I have that amount of space and it's limited to what I can do. And when you recognize that so many things are stopping you from achieving and claiming your space for yourself, your selfness, right? It only takes a matter of time for things to even out. So the next energy that was off is I feel. And it started off with the Empress. It went from there to the Nine of Swords. This is anxiety, hopelessness, and trauma. Naturally. When you decide not to do the thing anymore. That was taking those emotions from you. You're left with the emotions yourself. And because you do not know how to pass these emotions. right, To the next place. You don't know how to transmute it. As fast as it's, it's being generated within you. It leaves you in a sense of anxiety and trauma. It's simple. From, from there to the Queen of Cups. Now this queen right here. Is sitting down. It's not anxious. Let's see. Now this is compassion, calm and comfort. Now. Compassion. Well passion in general. Let's just put it this way. Passion is basically that temperance card that allows your emotions to turn into that space. You transmute the emotions into that space with a sense of passion. I am passionate about this new beginning. Therefore, I will turn these emotions from my heartbreak or whatever into this new space. Think of it this way. This is water and this is air. When you heat water up, you have more air. Passion. <laughs> When my app comes out, life is going to sound like that. It's going to sound. You've been keeping this to yourself? No, I've been trying to speak it for a very long time. And I never knew what I was speaking. Now I do. That's it. Different perspective. I was thinking so science minded. And then when all that information came to the spirit, I was blown away. Like I was right there the whole time. Trying to figure it out. Never knew about the spirit. Until a couple of years ago. So, oh. That's what I was looking for. I found it. Then I found my home. Built my home. And it got ransacked. Because the devil said, no. We will not have any spiritual homes in this world. This is my place. And guess what I said? Fuck out of here. Out of my house. Get out of my house. Yeah. That kind of energy. It was... It's up. Alright? Now I went from there to I am. Now I am is the place of fear. And the devil came up on the place of fear. Which is your power to get over the fear. It started off with the hangman. This is emotional. You don't have anything to use but your emotions. It went from there to the ten of swords. Ten of wands. Sorry. Now let's get this. Accomplishment. Responsibility and burden. All right, put it this way. So before you were being manipulated into dousing out your own blessings, watering down what you built. It's almost like there's nothing more to scavenge from what you had, so they thought. And that's what God hid you. And that burden alone with the, this anxiety that came up was the reason that the four swords came up next. Let's get it. Which is your knowledge. I mentioned this before. And it came back out. <clears throat> You're reviewing your experiences with certain people. That led you in a certain place of a downfall. And from there. You went to the devil. And this is materialism. Addiction and playfulness. Two fools came up and the devil came up too. Now, put it this way. Because you are so much of a fool for yourself, no fear will ever stop you. And if you don't feel that way, learn who you are to the point where they can't be overwritten. 
Yeah, that's that's crazy for me. So that finished off the sound. I never even said it. But the next part of the reading is the star stream or the stream, right? So you have vibra vibration, frequency, energy, sound, and stream. So let's get these cards out. First card up, an experimentation. What can you experiment with? It's the earth. Grounded earth. When it comes up to your emotions, healer. Recognize what the emotions are for and then use them properly. <clears throat> Friendship. Now, two of cups is union, right? This is friendship. Now, this is in a place of integration. You're going to integrate your spirit into your life. And when you do that, it'll push out the other stuff because spirit is magnetic. That's how spirit works. It's either going to be unattractive to you, meaning it's going to be pushed away, or it's going to be attracted to you, which means it's a part of your dream. You just don't know what piece it is yet. So, <clears throat> in the place of transcendence, we have trust, right? So, trust is very important when it comes up to leveling up. Because leveling up, you're going the same direction. You need to keep going this direction until you reach that place where you evolve, right? And let's get evolution real quick. The Divine Masculine. Is how you evolve, how you trans, uh, how you ascend, basically. So before, let me let me get these explanations out real quickly. The tangible world and all that is physical in nature. What can you see, feel, and touch? Invite you to participate in enjoying it. Now, yeah, because the energies put you in a low place. It doesn't matter what you think, feel, see, fair, what you feel as fair, nothing. The present energy is what matters. If you are happy, even if it's faking it for five seconds, that's better than crying and feeling in that low energy, that past energy. Why? Because you're saying something to the universe that says, I don't want to live this past energy anymore. I don't even think of it. So the universe says, oh, he's not thinking of this. She's not thinking of this. Let's do this other thing. I could barely speak, y'all. I can't even hold you. I'm going to finish this, though. And if I express, we have healer. Well, it's kind of self-explanatory. <clears throat> this talks about the exchange of, of energy. So, you can... Ex I literally just mentioned it. But, let's say it this way. If you change the perspective of the energy and just say... Like, if you're receiving hate. And you say... No, I just have this powerful energy right now. Around me, within me, whatever. How will I use it? It's just calling itself hate. It's powerful, but it's just calling itself hate. I can use this somehow. It's energy towards something. And all that energy is water. And your manifestations are seeds. Put them in the ground. So, friendship, a new ally, positive support, community, camaraderie. Meditate when you want more harmony and peace in your community. Also used to draw new alliances and friends. Now, this is integration, and I mentioned this spirit already. So, it's kind of, again, self-explanatory. Trust, step into the unknown or may not be revealed at this time. Trust in unseen forces. Meditate on this to let go of all, all attachments. Attachments are things that stop you from moving forward, literally. So, whatever they are, doesn't matter what it is, you're moving forward slower because you're holding on to it. You can't level up fast if you got to level up everybody behind you that you left. That's a lot of burden. What was that burden card? I don't even remember. Burden. 
And that's why you can't manifest. So the next and last card of the reading, thank you for being so patient. You know, I'm struggling right now. The divine masculine is the embodiment of logic, direct action, and strength. In its most evolved aspect, he represents the builder, the protector, and the guardian. Now, guard your experiences. In this way, when you reach, when you get full circle, when you get back to the same point where you can actually go down the same cycle again, you can branch off instead of going down the same cycle again, right? Hmm. All right, so that was the end of the reading. Again, thank you for being so patient. If you are interested in a reading, email me and I'll give you the details. If you love this content, like, share, and subscribe. Send it to your favorite reader, your favorite um, community, people that you're interested in, people that might be interested in this new information because I plan on going far with this and I plan on making a dream team with some of the people that you like already. So I have my names in store. Maybe you can mention some to me. But, yeah. We're all fighting the same battle. So we might as well fight the same war too. Right? Let's just team up. It's, it's not as hard as it seems. But that's my ambition. That's my dream. And if you follow me, it, it'll only make me that close to fulfilling it. So I appreciate you heavy. With all that said and done, I love you to death. I'm Kai-Fi. Peace.